At Descript, we've been building AI-powered tools for like eight years now. You know, before it was cool, and there's been a lot of change in that time. But honestly, everything feels kind of like a dress rehearsal for what is going to happen this year with agents. Now, if you don't want to hear me bloviate about AI and you just want to see the demo of our agentic video editor, I totally get it. Just skip ahead to this time marker. For the rest of you, assuming you're down for a little bit of bloviation, so here we go. What we've been up to at Descript, if you really boil it down, we're just making a tool that makes it easier and faster for humans to make video. In fact, that's all any of us are really doing. Those of us that make software tools, we make things easier and faster, so you can save time, save money, do more. But now for the first time, we kind of have an alternate path. Maybe instead of killing ourselves to make tools that are faster and easier for humans while somehow simultaneously making them ever more powerful. Instead, we software developers can just build these AI entities that use the tools for you. They become the tool experts and all you have to do is tell them what to do. So that's what agents are. And I'll just tell you up front, I am fully agent pilled. I'm using vibe coding tools like Cursor and Replit every day now. And it's super clear to me that they are going to fundamentally change the nature of not only how we build software, but how we work together, how we organize into teams, what skills are valued. Will AI one day replace us completely? I don't know. People keep saying that that's like chimney sweeps whining about electric heating. So we'll see, I guess, because there's no getting off this train. But what I think is very clear is that agents are going to change the nature of our jobs. I think of it like they've come along saying to us, hey, why don't you humans go over here into the director's chair? And your job can be to describe what you want and let us do it for you a hundred times faster and with total mastery of these tools. And by the way, this is a right now thing. It is here now. We don't need to wait for another breakthrough in artificial intelligence. We're really just waiting for product engineering teams to catch up with the intelligence that's already landed here on Earth. Okay, enough of this nonsense, but it's actually a good segue into the purpose of this video. Today, Descript is taking our first step into this future with an all-new agentic version of our AI assistant, Underlord. So before, our AI assistant looked like this, a bunch of buttons and discrete actions. And now it looks like this. Surprise, a chat sidebar. From here, you can talk to your underlord and it can do all of those actions in the old sidebar as well as everything else in Descript. And it can read your script, listen to the audio and see the visuals. So I mentioned cursor earlier. If you've heard of that, it's like cursor for video. Just imagine that you have an assistant editor who is an expert in Descript hanging out in a chat sidebar at all times. You can ask them to do things for you and they can do it at 10 times, 100 times the speed that a human could. Okay, enough talk. I'm going to show you different examples of how you can use Underlord to make video. First up, this is like a recording for a feature launch. As a first step, I'd normally go through and edit out all the mistakes and repeated lines. But now I just ask Agent Underlord, reads the script, sees what kind of video I'm trying to make, and knows what kind of edits to make. So it goes through and removes the repeated takes, the diversions, and the long silent gaps. Next up, I want to add visuals, what we call scenes in Descript. So I say, hey, can you do a visual pass? And by the way, maybe break it up in a few places with some stock video. So it comes back with a kind of plan. It tells me that it'll try to mask the jump cuts I made in the recording earlier. Also, it notices that I seem to be talking about screen recordings, so it's gonna add those. This whole visual thing is maybe my favorite feature of the new Underlord because going through and adding these visuals to make things look good, it's just tedious and time consuming. And now I can just delegate it. And now that I see what it did, I just wanna make a few tweaks. This stock video choice is a little weird, so I'm gonna ask for a few different options. Great, this one's better. So I now like the visual edit, but the style doesn't really match my brand. So I'm going to paste in a screenshot from like a branded Descript presentation and ask if it can update to match that style. It sees the font and colors and it just goes through and updates everything automatically. Okay, almost done with this video, I think. I kind of just went through this flow by telling Underlord what to do, but you can also ask what it thinks. Now, what I'm showing off here is that Underlord not only reads your script, but it can also hear the audio and it can see the visuals, right? So it notices that Ramdi isn't making eye contact. It offers to fix that. And it notices that the audio quality isn't super great. So it offers to fix that. Okay, my video is ready. Now I just need a promo clip. So I ask for a one minute edit for Instagram and it creates a copy, takes a stab at editing down to a coherent minute, makes it vertical and adds captions. 
All right, great. So my video is ready to go. I was able to basically vibe code the whole thing, delegating to Underlord, making a few tweaks myself when I wanted to fine tune details. In that first video, we started with a recording, but you don't even need that. As long as you have an idea, you can make a video with Underlord. So now I wanna make some Descript content for social media. I've got this idea, but not really a whole worked out script. So let me just paste the idea in here and see how AI does at filling in the details. I like the visuals, but I think it would be even cooler with an AI avatar. Number three, listen to yourself as you're recording and riff until it sounds like you. And now I have my whole video with this little AI mascot on camera. Now I'm just gonna follow up and ask it to add an outro scene. And I think this is ready to go. Now that I have this base version, I wanna create copies for some of the other countries and languages in which Descript is popular. So I just ask it to do that and it'll go ahead and put in a translated script. I'm also gonna ask it to update the visuals to be less American and more local to the country and it can make those changes as well. So we're obviously incredibly bullish on agentic editing and you might be wondering, what does that mean for the rest of Descript? All of this work making it easier for humans to edit video, are we just throwing in the towel on that? When you start using the new Underlord, what you are going to find is that the agent and the human editor, they pair really nicely like apples and cheese. You saw it in the demos. Sometimes you just wanna take the steering wheel. Sometimes it's faster to do something yourself than it is to describe what you want to someone or something else. So we still feel really smart for all this work that we've put into reinventing the video editor to make it super easy. And we think Descript is kind of the perfect cockpit for you and your agentic co-pilot to go on your mission together. So I'm really excited for creatives to get their hands on agentic Descript and frankly, other agentic tools. This is a little crude, but really there's no better way to describe what it feels like than power. This whole idea of moving into the director's chair, I think we're all going to find it incredibly creatively fulfilling, at least for a few years until AI is better than us at that too. And we need to figure out how to find purpose from hanging out and playing chess or whatever. So you're probably wondering, when can you get your hands on this? If the demo that I showed earlier hadn't been kind of faked, the answer would be right now. We are gonna start giving this to some of you who don't mind squinting a little and like the idea of being able to tell us what we should do to make it better. So head over to this website if that sounds like you and sign up for the closed beta and we'll start letting people in this week and hopefully speed it up very quickly. Okay. Crazy times, right? See you later.